Clover to, to come see the Salt River Wild Horses. Three years ago, Lori Walker was one of those people who traveled to Butcher Jones Recreational Area just to see the wild horses. I'm a wildlife photographer, sports photographer. And I had to come see them for myself. And ever since then, I've been hooked. So when Tonto National Forest officials posted a seven-day notice announcing the removal of the horses, Lori and other wild horse fanatics were crushed. This is a crossroads that we are going to regret 20 years from now. This is a colossal mistake that the Forest Service is making, and it's not a reversible one. It just boils down to a safety concern for the Forest Service. So we have horses out there on Forest Service lands. We have no authority to manage horses and this is how we're proceeding to remedy the safety issue. The horses have never been designated for protection. Monday says they're considered strays. And although no one has ever been injured, forest officials feel they must go. I was in Butcher Jones today. There were little kids playing around and there were horses right there. It's a matter of time before something bad happens. We don't want to see that. The Forest Service is taking a very sneaky route, we feel, without any chance to give the public time to comment. That leaves members of the Salt River Wild Horse Management Group and other equine groups racing against time to save the horses. They're like our family. We see each band, all their dynamics. We see their babies born. We see how they interact with each other. <laughs> I can't even imagine <laughs> them being gone.